Hey what's up guys myself Swapnil Shivasto and welcome back to your YouTube channel So guys today in this video I'll show you how to run one of the most popularly and widely used hacking ways on your Android phone So we all guys have heard about the name of the Kali Linux it is one of the most popularly and widely used hacking ways in the today's world but before the Kali Linux there was an operating system which was the most popularly used for the hacking purpose and that operating system is the Backtrack OS even the Kali Linux is built from the Backtrack OS so the Backtrack OS is a Linux distribution which focused on the security and it is based on a Nupix Linux distribution. So the Nupix is an operating system which was based on a Debian and designed to be run directly from the CD or DVD or a USB flash drive. So it was one of the first of its kind for any operating system. And Nupix was developed by and named after the Linux consultant Klaus Nupur. So Nupix is different from the Debian distribution or the Fedora distribution. So the Backtrack OS was based on the Nupix language distribution and Backtrack OS is aimed at the digital forensic and penetration testing use but in the March 2013 the offensive security team rebuilt the Backtrack OS around the Debian distribution and released it under the name Kali Linux so that's why I said that the Kali Linux is built from the Backtrack OS and we can also say that the Backtrack OS is now known as the Kali Linux so all the tools that we use in the Kali Linux can also be used on the Backtrack OS and the most important part of this video is that the Backtrack OS that we are going to run on our smartphone will have the internet connection enabled in it. So we all guys can download and install any package that we want from the terminal. So it will help us a lot to use any particular tool that you all guys want. Okay. So in this video I will show a step by step tutorial on how to install the Backtrack OS and I will also show a proof that that Backtrack OS will have the internet connection enabled in it. So let's start this video and see how we can do this. So before starting this video guys I have a small request to all of you please go to the description there will find a link to uh, one of the my elder brothers youtube channel and his name is the Adit Tripathi he makes the music video and his voice is very beautiful and he is doing a lot of the hard work so this guy needs your attention so please guys go to his channel and watch his videos and if you like it please don't forget to share it with your friends and if you like a lot so please don't forget to subscribe to your channel so guys please show some love and support to this guy so now let's go back to our topic so firstly we need to know that which is the files that we need to download so go to the description you will find a link of the download so let me show the backtrack quest ISO that we will need to download so here is the file manager and let me go and show which is the file that we need to download so this is the file which you need to download which is the BT5 which is the backtrack 5 genome edition and it is 32 bit operating system and it is in the ISO format so you need to use it as the CD uh, drive okay so as a CD media, a CD or DVD media. So this is the uh, file that you need to download. Its size is 1.91 GB. Okay. So just go to the description and you will find a link. Or otherwise you can go to the browser here and just uh, type here www.babifin.com babifin.com and hit enter. So here you will find the a full step by step tutorial of this video. Here you can see. So you will find the full step by step tutorial of this video and there are the, these are the two download links one is the uh, for the backtrack OS ISO and one is the for the limbo emulator and when you slow down uh, slide down uh, they will find this full step by step tutorial on how to uh, run the backtrack OS on your smartphone okay so let me show you that which file that you need to download so simply click on the backtrack OS link and it will open something like this so here we'll find a number of the edition of the backtrack OS but we need to download only one of this and that one is the this one backtrack ISO uh, backtrack 5 genome 32 bit uh, 32 bit ISO and its upload date is 2 June 2013 okay and its size 2 gigabyte so this is the uh, file that we need to download so simply need to click on it and it will install the download process but we already downloaded it so we will not download it again so let's cancel it okay and after that just go to the limbo emulator apk link and open it and just download the limbo emulator and just keep this point uh, just keep one point in your mind that you need to download the limbo emulator uh, according to your processor like i have the x86 processor of the uh, intel uh, i have the intel processor so i will select the x86 pc emulator and if you have the arm processor just select the arm emulator so now let's go back and see what are the steps that we need to do next so firstly you need to go to the limbo emulator and open it and here you need to click on this none button and click on the new and create here virtual machine so and create here a new virtual machine 
just give here any name i will give uh, give here backtrack os okay and i will click on create and now just slide down just go to the user interface select it and select here stl and slide down and leave this setting as the default and now in the architecture select the x86 and the machine type will be the pc and cpu model will be default in the cpu cores just select the four cores and in the ram memory just slide down and just select the maximum amount of the ram that you can give just keep one point in the mind that if your emulator start crashing just reduce the amount of ram you given okay now don't select anything in the storage and now go to the removable storage and now select the cd rom and now click on this none and click on the open and now go to the directory where you put it the uh, downloaded the back uh, where you put it you downloaded backtrack G, uh, genome edition or the iso file simply select that file and just slide down and slide down and leave all the setting as the default don't change anything here now just slide down slide down now go to the boot from device and select here cd rom now select side down and here in the high priority just make sure that it is checked up now click on the ok and now you have to, to click on the play button so it will take some time to boot so let it go ahead and i will tell all the things that you need to follow so it will open you to this page so don't touch anything here so let it to automatic boot So don't do anything here also, yeah, it will take some time to complete this process, so just wait here. So at this moment just wait for a while. So here I have to click on the back button and click on the keyboard and hit enter. So you will see uh, it is still doing some step here. So just wait here until it shows the root at the Kali at the backtrack something like that so it means that you are fully logged into the backtrack OS and after that you need to just type there start x and hit enter so now you can see it's showing the root at the root so now you have to simply click on the back button and select the keyboard and you need to type here start x and here you can see start x and just hit enter so now it will start the GUI interface of the backtrack. So just wait for a while and let it be open. So here you can see guys it is fully boot up 
now firstly it will show some errors so don't worry just simply click on the don't delete hit uh, on the screen and just select the don't delete and once again select the don't delete and select don't delete once again now all the errors have been gone now firstly let me show you that which are the tools which comes preloaded here so let me go to the application you can see everything is working very smooth so it's like using the back request on the desktop so it's working very fine so you all guys can use it for any purpose and it has internet connection enabled in it so i will show you that thing also so simply let me go to the application and let me show which are the tools comes preloaded here so let me go to the accessories and here you can see uh, there is a g uh, edit text editor and terminal and this one is the basic tools and now let's go to the backtrack and here you will find all the tools category and you will also find all the tools which comes preloaded now let's go to the information gathering and you will find the network analysis and here you can see in the network analysis you will find some other categories and you will find all the tools regarding every category okay like ids ip certification have the tools of uh, frag root and the f tester and all the others and let's go to the exploitation tool and see whether the uh, bfx framework is available or some other tools are available or not now let's go to the social engineering tools and let it open and here let's uh, here you can see it has the beep xss and uh, honey pots is also available in it and in the social engineering toolkit you will also find set wave and some other tools and now let's go to the wireless exploitation so in the wireless exploitation you will find the bluetooth exploitation and uh, wlan exploitation and in the, uh, the wlan exploitation you will find the air crack ng air uh, aerodump ng and some other tools so these are the categories in which in which you will find all the tools that you want uh, inform uh, you will find the uh, tools regarding the information gathering or the vulnerability assessment or the exploitation uh, exploitation tools or the privilege exploitation or the maintaining assess or the reverse engineering or the rfid tools or stress testing or the forensics or the reporting tools or services or some miscellaneous missile, uh, miscellaneous or tools also so these are the tools which comes preloaded you can down uh, you can use it and try every tool that you want now let's go to the internet and see whether the internet connection is working or not so let me go to the internet here will find the firefox browser preloaded so simply select this one so let it open it take some time so you can see it's opening up so it will take some time so don't worry about that now firstly it will open the default page of the backtrack 5 uh, website so this one is uh, is not the uh, coming from the internet uh, as you can see in the address bar you can see file and this this is the html file which has been already saved in the uh, backtrack 5 so don't worry uh, we will go to the google.com from here firstly uh, okay let me open the new tab so i will show you that the internet connection is working it so let me open the new tab and show you that the www.google.com or any other web page will be easily able easily open in this uh, backtrack so here you can see it has opened a new web page now open the keyboard and let's type here any website i will go to the www.google.com So it may be not possible that uh, this with the speed it is working on my smartphone it may be possible that your smartphone run it faster because my smartphone uh, little bit uh, older four years older so that's why having some issue but if you have the one of the latest uh, smartphone with the latest processor so i think it will run more more faster than me so you can see it's opening the w.google.com and here you can see in the uh, down it so the transfer data from google.com it means that internet connection is working in it you can see it opened the google here so now let me uh, let me close this uh, browser and let me show you some terminal uh, some terminal commands here so 
so let firstly close it so guys now you can see it's opening the terminal and now it's open so now let's type here some basic commands uh, let me type here ls so let's show the files which contain in the present folder so we are in the home folder i think so this is the desktop folder and let's type the so this one is the seed uh, some common commands so firstly i would like to suggest you all that to, uh, after installing the backtrack simply type here apt get update update so just firstly do the update here so it will update your uh, backtrack to the latest version and after this simply click on uh, just type here apt get upgrade so it will upgrade all of your packages okay so after doing this then you should try all the commands otherwise it may be possible that some commands will not work actually this uh, iso is very older now so you need to update everything okay so as i shown you everything that uh, as i shown you that uh, so let me some uh, show you some uh, commands also so let me show you uh, whether it's uh, going to install any package or not so let me type here command apt get install uh, let me install the fish tool okay so it might be possible that you guys have heard about the name fish tool so not hit enter okay so now you guys you can see it's showing that do you want to install it or not and also showing the package uh, size which is the uh, here you can see 0 1 0 0 4 sorry 4 0 1 8 so it's almost of uh, 4, 4 MB in size so it means that internet connection is working it so you can download and install any package that you want so I'm not going to install it because I did not update the uh, whole system or did not upgrade it all the packages so simply firstly uh, apt get install uh, sorry apt get uh, update and after that apt get upgrade and after that you should install any package okay so just keep this point in mind now let me close this terminal okay now you can see the terminal is closed so i already shown that uh, which are the tools come preloaded and i'll just show that uh, internet connection is working so it means that you can use it for any regular uh, purpose okay so thanks guys for watching this video and i hope you will like it useful and there is one other question that you guys always keep asking that how to close any running virtual machine and go back to the android phone i know this is the common question and this uh, but many of you did not know how to do this so that's why i try out to add this thing also in the video so now firstly you need to click on the back button and click on these three dots and now click on the shutdown and click on the yes so it will shut down the uh, virtual machine and now you will go back to your home screen and just click on the home button so you can see android operating system uh, was actually running behind this okay so nothing has been harmed to your smartphone so don't worry you can try it and it does not require any root okay so that is the very good point of the limbo emulator you do not require any root so thanks guys for watching the video and if you have guys having any question regarding this video just comment down below i will help you there and if you are new to our channel please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon so whenever i upload a new video you directly get notified so thanks guys for watching my this video have a good day and good luck and bye take care